Now, our sponsor today is actually Rover, which is a dog walking and dog sitting app. Uh, but in, in fact, we're not actually promoting the app itself today. We are promoting being a sitter on Rover, a specifically a dog sitter. Do you think that might be something that few of our audience members might be interested in doing? I would certainly hope that a few of our audience members would want to get a career change or add some extra cash. I'm pretty, I've gotten a rough vibe from reading all of the comments and everything that our audience is pretty big into gig work. And this is a decent option for that in addition to whatever else you're doing. Well, and something that, uh, something that I was very surprised to read when I first read it, uh, you know, before you started working with them. Yes. Uh, I read that some sitters on Rover make, as, and this is not guaranteed by any means, but some sitters on Rover make as much as $30,000 a year. That is a lot of money, especially if somebody can do that on the side, you know, walk dogs on Saturday and Sunday and well, do your regular job the rest of the week. Walk dogs, uh, do house sitting for dogs is a pretty big one. House sitting other people's houses mm -hmm. in their dogs has been a pretty big um, success for myself. Yeah. And so uh, tell Housing. people what, uh, what's so, involved with that. So if you want the uh, to get best results from the dog at your house scenario, mm -hmm. with the, uh, the dog... Doggy daycare? Doggy daycare. Okay. That's the word yeah. I was looking for. If you want to make the most out of your doggy daycare, imagine that you have a fully fully fenced in backyard. Imagine that as you were growing up, you had kids, mm -hmm. and then the kids have left the house, but the, the yard's still fenced in. You might as well put that to good use. You get to be the grandparent for everyone else's dogs. That's true. You probably feel like the doggy grandpa. <laughs> I am the doggy grandpa. <laughs> so you get to feel the joy of actually having a dog in your house absolutely but you don't have to keep it right. which is the best you part. get the fun part <laughs> you get the fun part correct uh one of uh, trey's five star reviews of, of course all of his reviews are all of mine star, are five star <laughs> one of the reviews that he got was um somebody said uh he did a great job the dog was really tired afterwards because he literally just went and walked with the dog for like four hours <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's a great town, and there's a lot to see. There's a lot to do. There's a lot, a lot to of, smell, especially for the dog. There's a lot to smell. <laughs> so, uh, what we are inviting you to do today is we're inviting you to go to our referral link and sign up. Uh, we've uh, given you a short link to make it easier for the radio. It's bit.ly bitly bit.ly slash, and this is all capital. Rover, R-O-V-E-R, -E and then 23 for the year. Uh, Bit.ly slash Rover 23. And if you go to that link, then what you'll find is uh, just a simple sign-up form, and then we uh, get a small amount of money from our sponsor for every person who signs up. Absolutely. But uh, we would talk about Rover whether we were sponsored or not. Like, they are a uh, great company. Uh, we've loved working for them so far and had quite a few bookings. I'm sure that a uh, a person walking dogs in a larger city would probably get even more bookings than you're getting. Uh, absolutely. So uh, give it a try. And uh, that is all for that. Back to the show. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the show. We are live with the AI Revolution podcast. I am your host, Satoshi Nakamoto, and with me as always is my partner in love and in life, Link Labrador. Hello, hello, this is Link Labrador. How's everyone doing this fine evening? And I will let our wonderful Satoshi dive right into the topic for us. Absolutely. Today, we are speaking about our charity called Donate by Mail, which has a brand new, with the paint still drying, website. Uh, it is donatebymail.org, and it is a website where you can go right now and you can donate your used electronic devices, things like cell phones, computers, that kind of thing. And what we do is we take those in, we refurbish them, and we <coughs> give them to people who need them. In particular, to our wonderful veterans at the VA hospital. Absolutely. So, any other question? Do we have any other? Um, do we want to continue on that or? Well, 
Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the show, my friends. And today we are talking about our charity, Donate by Mail, and what we are going to be doing to help this great country. Now, did you know, uh, I know you know this, but uh, for the listener, did you know that there are right now, at this very moment, 20,000 veterans who are homeless? Yes, I did know that. And it is a appalling number. So absolutely appalling. And the fact that there are homeless people at all is appalling, but the not not to them, but just the fact that a country as rich as ours uh, is not taking care of its citizens is appalling to me. But the fact that someone could have served the country in the armed forces and then be just on the street for lack of care and health care and mental health care is just a disgrace. It, it truly is a disgrace, and we should truly hold our legislation accountable to the highest extent of morality itself for these, quite frankly, injustices to everyone. Everyone loses when we have homeless on the street. That's true. That's true. Uh, some towns have experimented with just basically giving people cheap housing, and it's actually cheaper to do that than to put people in jail and arrest them and the police action and all of that. That's more expensive than just giving people cheap housing. <laughs> and, you know, it, one of our goals with Donate by Mail is to employ over 10,000 veterans. Because we're going to be getting a lot of donations. I mean, think about how many people listen to our show. Millions of people. And so what we are uh, eager to do is to encourage you guys to send in your old electronic devices. So, uh, I, again, smartphones are going to be the best option. Uh, Cell phones. Uh, and Laptop computers, these kinds of things. And what we are going to be doing is we're working directly with the VA. Um, we're still in talks with the Little Rock VA. And so, um, you know, we're... It's still in process, but yes. the goal is to work with them directly and to give the devices directly to them, and then they would be able to distribute them to veterans who need their devices. And what they mentioned to me while I was on the phone with them is that one of the biggest needs that they have for the the mental health and the um, the, the well-being of the veterans is for them to be able to call their families and for them to be able to especially video call their families yes. from the hospital. Because, I mean, imagine, you know, you're a relatively uh, elderly veteran. You probably don't own a smartphone. Probably not, no. And you're in the hospital sometimes for weeks at a time. And just the highlight of your day is getting to call your kids and being able to speak to them with uh, FaceTime, you know, that type of uh, that type of video call. This is something that um, they expressed to me is just a huge help to the mental well-being of the veteran. And in addition, it means that once they are discharged, they can keep that phone and they can use it for things like finding jobs. They can use it for online education. Uh, you know, there's tons of opportunities for people with the, with the GI type bills to be able to do online college. And with something as simple as a cell phone, someone can go and get a degree. And so we want to empower these uh, people who have served our country, <coughs> who have, uh, you know, they have done so much for us. We would like to give back a little to them and uh, make it possible for them to succeed. Absolutely. On that note, one of the other bigger, one of the other things that our chair charity focuses on is giving back to animal shelters as well. That's true. We have a second initiative uh, under the Donate by Mail banner, uh, which is called Puppy Smiles. And this initiative is uh, primarily spearheaded by Trey, uh, since he is so eager to help our canine friends. The initiative is, like I said, called Puppy Smiles. And what we do is we go to conventions, we raise money. Um, we're thinking of doing mystery boxes. We're still working on that. Um, but the plan is mystery boxes with plushies. Yep. And the slogan is adopt a plush, save a pup. 
adopt a plush, save a pup. And a portion of the proceeds from each sale will go to a animal shelter that is local to the convention. So if we're doing a convention in Denver, we're going to support and no, a, specifically a no-kill animal shelter in Denver. Yes. Now, our sponsor today is actually Rover, which is a dog walking and dog sitting app. Uh, but in, in fact, we're not actually promoting the app itself today. We are promoting being a sitter on Rover, a specifically a dog sitter. Do you think that might be something that a few of our audience members might be interested in doing? I would certainly hope that a few of our audience members would want to get a career change or add some extra cash. I'm pretty, I've gotten a rough vibe from reading all of the comments and everything that our audience is pretty big into gig work. And this is a decent option for that in addition to whatever else you're doing well and something that uh something that i was very surprised to read when i first read it uh you know before you started working with them yes uh i read that some sitters on rover make as and this is not guaranteed by any means but some sitters on rover make as much as thirty thousand dollars a year that is a lot of money especially if somebody can do that on the side, you know, walk dogs on Saturday and Sunday and well, do your regular job the rest of the week. Walk dogs, uh, do house sitting for dogs is a pretty big one. House sitting other people's houses mm -hmm. and their dogs has been a pretty big um, success for myself. Yeah. And so uh, tell Housing. people what, uh, what's so, involved with that. So if you want the uh, to get best results from the dog, at your house scenario mm -hmm. with the how uh, the dog doggy daycare doggy daycare okay. that's the word yeah. i was looking for if you want to make the most out of your doggy daycare imagine that you have a fully fully friend fenced in backyard imagine that as you were growing up you had kids mm -hmm. and then the kids have left the house but the the yard's still fenced in you might as well put that to good use you get to be the grandparent for everyone else's dogs. That's true. You probably feel like the doggy grandpa. <laughs> I am the doggy grandpa. <laughs> so you get to feel the joy of actually having a dog in your house. Absolutely. But you don't have to keep it, right. which is the best you part. You get the fun part. <laughs> you get the fun part. Correct. Uh, one of uh, Trey's five-star reviews, of, of course, all of his reviews are All five of mine star, are five-star. <laughs> one of the reviews that he got was um, somebody said, uh, he did a great job. The dog was really tired afterwards because he literally just went and walked with the dog for like four hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a great town and there's a lot to see. There's a lot to do. There's a lot, a lot to of smell. Especially for the dog, there's a lot to smell. <laughs> so uh, what we are inviting you to do today is we're inviting you to go to our referral link and sign up. Uh, we've uh, given you a short link to make it easier for the radio. It's bit.ly, bit.ly, bit.ly slash, and this is all capital, Rover, R-O-V-E-R, -E and then 23 for the year. Uh, bit.ly slash Rover 23. And if you go to that link, then what you'll find is uh, just a simple sign-up form, and then we uh, get a small amount of money from our sponsor for every person who signs up. Absolutely. But uh, we would talk about Rover whether we were sponsored or not. Like they are a great company. Uh, we've loved working for them so far and had quite a few bookings. I'm sure that a, uh, a person walking dogs in a larger city would probably get even more bookings than you're getting. Uh, absolutely. So uh, give it a try. And uh, that is all for that. Back to the show. <laughs> 